And I'll be walking you through the sixth grade worksheets for lesson eight. The first worksheet that should have gone should say standardized test prep. So this first section over here is all just um, order of operations. If you don't remember what that is, it is PEMDAS. So you do them, do your operations in the order that is listed here. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So for example, um, number... Let's do one without division, so it's a little bit easier for now. Number three, um, we see you have addition, multiplication, multi oh, subtraction, multiplication, and also parentheses. So you want to do what's in the parentheses first. So it becomes 17 plus uh, 19 minus 4 equals 15 times 3. Now you have addition and multiplication left, and addition here and multiplication here. And so you want to do multiplication first. So it's 17 plus 45, and that gives you um, 50, I don't know, 62. And you do the same for the rest of these problems. Uh, 6 through 10 is um, basically multiplication. You have a little bit of addition and subtraction down here. But... Uh, let's see, for number 6, or let's do number 8, 67 to the second power means that you multiply 67 by itself twice. So this would give you 8. It would be the second power of 67. Um, at number 6, you would multiply it like this, and whatever you get, you'd multiply it by 22 again, or, you, yeah. And then, same thing with number 7. And then these ones, number 9 and 10, you do these separately, and then you add up, add it all up together. So the second page is asking us to write the first five multiples of each number. So... Uh, first multiple of 3 we know is 3, second multiple is 6, third multiple, if you need help just write it on the side like this, and 3 times 5 is 15, and then let's do 10 would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 9 would be 9, 18, 27, 36, and 45. 15 would be 15, 30, 45, 60, and 75, and 22 would be, let's see, 44, um, 66, 88, and 110. Um, okay, and then 6 through 10 is asking us to write the factors of each number. The factors are basically um, what multi what numbers you can multiply together to make, um, in this case, 8. So 1 times 8. So you have 1 and 8. There's also 2 times 4, and that should be it. And for 16, you have 1 times 16, 2 times 8. Uh, no, 3. 4 times 4. And then it just be like this. And then... 45, 45 is divisible by 3, so you have 3, and then 15, you also have 9 and 5, and also 45, of course. Uh, moving on, this page is asking us, or it is a lesson on prime factorization. So prime, a prime number is a whole number that is greater than 1 but has only 2 factors called prime factors, and like 2 is a prime factor, 3 and 5 would also be prime factors, while a composite number is a whole number that is greater than 1 and has more than 2 factors. So um, any of these numbers over here, down here I mean, that have more than one factor are all composite factors, or composite numbers. So we can find um, the prime factors of each using using a factor tree. So 12, what we want to do is two numbers 
any two numbers that multiply together equals 12, so this could be 2 and 6, and then we can separate this into 2 times 3. And your prime factors you see are 2 and 3, so 2 to the second power um, times 3. Uh, 42 is 6 and 7, and you have 2 and 3, so your prime factorization is just this. Um, 65, you have 5 and uh, 13, yes, 13, and that would be your prime factors, and 104 would be say 2 and 52 which would give you 2 and 26 2 and 13 so this would be 2 to the third times 13 moving on the last page is just word problems uh, let's choose one to do okay so number one is saying pages now to top vacation trip is planned for seven days and six nights. Her airplane ticket costs four hundred for a round trip, and the hotel she is staying at is seventy five dollars per night. If she has plans to spend one thousand dollars on her trip in total, how much money does she have to spend on food and entertainment per day? Okay, so let's see what we know. She's already spending seventy five dollars per night, and also four hundred dollars for the plane tickets. So seventy five times six nights right, is equal to. Four hundred and fifty dollars. Four hundred fifty dollars plus four hundred dollars that she's already paying for the flight is eight hundred fifty. She has one thousand dollars in total minus eight hundred fifty, which gives her one hundred and fifty dollars for entertainment, food and entertainment in total, and that has to be divided by. Seven, because she's there for seven days, which would give us. Um, hold on. Okay. One. Around twenty-one dollars and forty-four cents.